British Science Association are in Exeter next few days and tomorrow Thursday I'm pretty sure I've got this got this right they're gonna be yeah thurs Thursday 7th of September between 10 30 and 5 o'clock they they're gonna be in what they call Forum Street I think that's the middle of the forum on the university campus and there's no need to book you just you just turn up um, it's a drop-in activity and I think what it's going to be is, is chat GBT or some some sort of um, AI robot facility with a bit of guidance um, what's what they're saying uh, Models that can write convincing essays, computer code, and o answer open questions confidently. Used appropriately, it could provide a lot of positive outcomes for society. However, it is also open to misuse. Well, I'd, I'd like to ask them some questions about how AI is influencing how universities think about moving online the MOOC scene, things like that. Um, you'll know that on on The Wild Show, I, I quite often talk to the producer about the MOOC, and it, he's, he's gradually understood there is something like a MOOC. He, he thought it was a large furry animal that lived in the marshland, somewhere uh, near Exeter, near Marsh Bartons, something like that. But anyway, we've, we've, we've come on a bit since then. Um, we, this is the We Don't Know show, so we, we definitely start from the point that we, that we don't know what we're talking about. And the wild show, you can't be quite sure. Uh, the drama show will turn it all into fiction, which is necessary sometimes. But I would... I would just... Oh, here comes that, that um, hum again. Never mind. Um, the, the, the thing is that... Student accommodation is. I, I will come back. I will be more or less on topic. Stay with. Stay with it. Um, what we notice in Exeter, in the middle bits, in the city bits, away from the campus, is the student accommodation being built, which is still going on. And the the question: Can we ask the chat robot um, why why is the student accommodation still needed if if learning is moving online? And the answer may come back, well, everything was a blip during the lockdown and everything is now back to normal. Um, but whether, whether that will turn up in an essay or a newspaper article, um, can you prompt it to go one way or the other? Can it predict what's going to happen over the next five or ten years or what the expected life of a building would be? And what's what's happening to all the share prices? Because um, there was there was a crash of technology stocks happening. Certainly, um, Coursera and uh, 2U, the ones who invested heavily in in the MOOC scene, um, seem to be in a in a sort of crash situation, and. Um, the Open University wanted to get out of FutureLearn, which they have now managed to do. Um, but when AI came along as a, um, a topic for the NASDAQ, uh, there's, there's a bit of recovery going on. So may, maybe it's all coming back again. And what is Exeter University doing specifically? I think, I think we, can ask, we could ask them that see if there, anything comes up on that um, because there, there is a digital strategy but when you look at the main strategy the ed tech bit doesn't it's it's not obvious um, I would say um, anyway this is this is this is a it, I'll, I will I will let me think think t it starts at 10 30 but it goes on till five so usually after the wild show we have a we have a cup of coffee and a bit of refreshment and relaxation so that probably will go on till about two so I'll, I'll probably get to the forum about half past two or three so any, any anybody else who's who's 
got ideas about this sort of thing, uh, we could meet there or, or tweet at um, WENOTNO before 12 today, let's say, or uh, will 789GB over the next over the next couple of days and we'll come we'll come back back to those 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 things and a, a bit more as as well uh.